Yeah, not, uh, it's a much, often much used, but also much resented UML, but we'll, that's a separate talk on UML. Um, I, I think I mentioned that. UML is the worst possible modeling language except for all the others. We don't know how to build <laughs> modeling languages. So. <laughs> so this talk, and I apologize for not being Ulrich, um, I'm sure his talk would have been much better, but uh, I mean, I'm plan B here, so uh, be, be prepared for a plan B talk. Um, this is a talk that um, does come from 40 years worth of experience with development of cyber physical systems. They weren't called that before, they are now. Uh, and <clears throat> it's something that kept bugging me, and still bugs me, as you'll see, <laughs> that um, it relates to something we talked about even at the opening, uh, opening panel where we talked about the what and the how and the separation of functional and non-functional and so on, as you'll see. Uh, <clears throat> I had a friend who used to give out whistles to his audience so that they could complain if they disagreed. Well, I don't have enough whi whistles, but if you ever run into a, 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 an issue here that you disagree with, do raise your hand and I'll ignore it. <laughs> um, Here's an interesting thing, by the way. Uh, everybody thinks that Einstein mentioned, uh, said this. Turns out it's not clear whether he said it. Somebody else may have said it. It doesn't matter, but uh, it's a good one. Everybody says everything should be made simple, as simple as possible, but no simpler. And, and uh, theoreticians in particular love it because it, of course, makes their life a lot easier. It always reminds me of that situation where you know, you're looking for the money that you lost where the light is better, not where you actually lost it, and there's a lot of that in here. But <clears throat> the thing that I want to focus on is uh, this, but not simpler. In other words, we can, especially with models and abstraction, overdo it. And it's very much related to something that Hans mentioned, which is the you know, validity space. So, for example, this is what you'll see in most component models, and this is in many ways a reaction. I've seen so many of these theoretical models of component-based systems. A component-based system is a box, it has input ports, it has output ports, it has alphabets for inputs, out alphabets for outputs. Uh, you can put them together, so you have this notion of a component. Uh, it has inputs, it produces outputs, and then you can start combining them in various ways. The output is a function, so you can look at it as a sometimes as a black box, and it's beautiful and easy to deal with in terms of its analytical uh, amenability. Uh, you can combine them by using this notion of a connector, and then you can actually put them in hierarchies. It all is very, very beautiful and simple, and